Hey guys, we're having a great day. It's a great life. Back, Van Halen. <sighs> First guitar solo reaction we've had yeah. on the channel, like just guitar solo. Because like, iconic. We... Go ahead. <laughs> it's iconic. That's it. Yes, we just said "Ain't Talking About Love," and that's. I, I thought that was the only song I heard, but then my girlfriend told me that I had definitely heard the "Girl, You Really Got Me Now," which yeah. I definitely the had King's heard cover, before. I think so. everyone's heard that song. Yep. Um, I don't think I've heard "Eruption" in the like at all. Like the studio, I've Overwatch. heard the studio. I have not seen the live version. I have like, but it's not so funny. Cause I say I've never heard it, but I feel like I've heard kind of like snippets, like the like like a clip of him like tapping or like, like yeah. the sound like the sound of how like it goes up like nah, 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 like just yeah. like the way it does it but i don't actually like have a recollection if that yeah, makes well, any the, sense to you the guys the studio version is like a minute or something and this is 10 times that so uh, uh at least nine minutes of he's, gonna, content. he's gonna turn a, a one minute solo at that point it's kind of like almost I, like a freestyle it's a different solo but dude. just like like he at he adds in the iconic part you know yeah. but then he kind of like just plays yeah. around around it you know what i'm yeah. saying all right with that said enough talking let's go dive into let's it
Okay, so <laughs> the classical influence in this is so cool. I love it when the when guitarists don't not only just have that like crazy fast talented stuff, but like can break it down and show some of the other mm -hmm. influences in them. So hard to agree. I also love how you can really tell he's having fun with it, dude. Yeah, like he's so having showy. fun. It's you genuine. can tell this is the '80s. You know, he's like. Wow, wow, pointing at the crowd like yeah, he, he's having fun, dude. Yeah. That, that's, just, that's just awesome. All right, All right. So let's bring it back.
Honestly, I was skeptical for it being 10 minutes yeah. long at first. It didn't feel like 10 minutes at all. But he, ke he kept it interesting the entire time. Yeah, he, he was a showman above anything else. Like, I've definitely seen better guitar solos than that. But the showmanship was just next level. Yeah, it was next level. Yeah, there wasn't one moment where I was like, oh, this is dragging. No, yeah. the entire time I felt like completely entertained. And he wasn't doing too many fast things. Like, he put it in, of course. Of course, he's playing fast stuff. But, like, a lot of it was very melodic. Some of it was down. That Like, the classical thing I was talking about. Mm -hmm. A lot of it was bends and whammy bar stuff, which is just tonal, not really yeah. complicated. Just the way he plays is crazy, though. Like, yeah. the way he goes all over the place. Yeah. He, so... To me, he like, he makes me think of like um, when you're a kid, you first pick up a guitar, you know, you're you're playing, you plug yeah. into an amp, you have an amplifier, you have distort like heavy distortion, and you're kind of just like playing around before you're actually yeah. before you actually were taught either like professionally or before you like learn. Well, they didn't have videos yeah. back then, so honestly, it, it felt like this dude literally plugged in an amp, had distortion, and was playing around. It went down the rabbit hole of that sounds cool. Let me like yeah. let me kind of like hone on that. I'm pretty and, sure he was like the first one to really tap. Like I think he's the guy crazy. who made that the yeah. thing. So. so I think that's just awesome. And one part I did like um, when he was doing some harmonics, I, one of them he accidentally muted it. It was a total mistake. Yeah. Which I love that because it's like, for, yeah, he's like, a real for, guy. for a couple of reasons. It's like he's human. Yeah. He's not like a robot. And two, it's like it shows us that he's like really like pushing himself. You yeah. know what I mean? Because like if, if a yep. guitarist is playing a solo and they don't like mess up a tiny bit, you know, it's yep. like then you could have done better. Come yeah. on, dude. Yeah, you know, I, I, you know? it, I like to call <laughs> you know? it reckless abandonment. Like you, yeah. I have played with like drummers who like that's their issue is like, They'll play a fill and they're super comfortable playing that fill, but they won't push themselves. But like the best players that you ever play with or ever see is the people who it's like they get halfway through and they're like, I could I could be safe and I could do this the right like I could do this and be fine. Or it's like, oh, I could push it that extra notch and maybe I mess up, maybe I fuck up. But if you don't, then it's amazing. Even if you do, as long as you catch yourself, you're solid. Yeah, but as long as you go part. for it. But like some people yeah. have that fear of just like saying, fuck it, I'm just gonna go for it. And this for him, true. it was like, I'm just gonna go for it. So, yep. yep. Okay, so uh, what would you rate this? 9.2. 9.2. Is that like in relation to like the... I guess you can't really compare it too hard to the series. I'm comparing it to like other solos that I've seen in the past. Okay. Um, maybe a 9.3. It's really good. Uh, the showmanship was awesome. So that was like a 10. But I think, I think there could have been a little bit more guitar playing... That wasn't just tapping, maybe like if he could, if he mm -hmm. if he did like maybe went a little harder into the classical stuff or maybe uh, a couple other riffy things. I don't know. There, there's just a couple other solos that I think maybe top this one. I'm on the same as you. I'm gonna give it like an, I'm gonna give it a nine point one only because I generally prefer kind of like the the slower the slower more like yeah. emotional like style. You know where they're just yeah. like oozing emotion all over the place. You yeah. know they just like pick all the right notes and they like play their bends in a certain way. You know yeah. So that that kind of like David Gilmore kind of style. With that said, in terms of like. The style he's playing, he's just yeah, he probably like one of the best, like yeah. one of the best in the business, yep. like, easily. All um, right, so yeah. With that said, you want to give us other suggestions for um, Van Halen in general? Yeah, I know people have been telling us to do all kinds of stuff, dude. Like, and in the "Ain't Talking About Love" video, there's so many suggestions. It's yeah. not even funny, dude. And also, as far as other guitar solos or maybe drum solos, uh, iconic things that you think we should watch. If you did like watching this guitar solo, yeah, just like moments and like yeah. music. Like, like this, where you're just like, holy shit, they just did that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, that being said. Direct us to those. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be updated with all of our amazing best videos on the internet. My I'm, my unbiased opinion. He said it, not me. So. Yep. All right. See you guys next time. Fantastic day.